Hi, my name is Nicole, and we are here tonight to uh, discuss about this uh, very controversial sweetener in the market today, and that is the stevia sweetener. Uh, there are different types of stevia in the market today. Um, some are in liquid form. Uh, this is the, mo the most common, uh, the powdered form, and we do have dried leaves available. So. Which, which of these uh, products the best for your health and which can give you the uh, benefits that stevia can provide? And uh, just so you know, just a brief history of stevia. It has been uh, used for centuries by the tribes of Paraguay. Um, I believe they named it Kahi. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, but they've been using this for um, for their medication uh, as a sweetener uh, for some of their skin problems and many, many more. And um, if you would like to get dried leaves stevia, I would recommend that you get it from Paraguay or either Brazil uh, because this is the places where you can get the best quality stevia. And uh, just a, a brief a background about um, artificial sweeteners. Um, decades ago, it has been banned in some Asian countries like Japan, uh, Malaysia, and other countries. So most of these uh, countries used stevia as their alternative sweetener, and it has been used for decades. There are so ama amazing feedback about it. So, however, recently it's getting a lot of attention that it can cause cancer, weight gain, infertility, and some side effects. So, which of these um, side effects is true? I mean, does stevia contribute to any of the side effects? And the first uh, allegation about stevia is that stevia can cause cancer. Well, this one is a myth. There are rumors that stevia might cause cancer, but there has no long-term research to support this allegation. In fact, animal testing was conducted, and stevia was fed to these animals in high dosages. And the research concluded that stevia did not cause you know, bad side effects, uh, bad side effects to these animals and did not show any signs of cancer or any potential risk of this animal having cancer. And another, uh, another allegation is that stevia can actually cause weight gain. This is another myth. This is not true because stevia does not have any calories, though it is 200% sweeter than sugar. Well, the percentage of the sweetness, you know, I, I've been making my research. Sometimes they said it's 20 to 30 percent. Some says 200 to 300 percent. So, but it is definitely much sweeter than sugar. So you can actually use a little stevia when you are substituting it uh, as your sugar replacement. And people who were trying to lose weight switch to stevia, like me. Uh, my goal is to lose, you know, 10 pounds of my weight. And so far, um, by using stevia, it actually helped me lose uh, two pounds already and counting. And uh, I can say that it is stevia became uh, really helpful when it comes to my weight loss journey. Uh, it helped me uh, control my cravings and uh, it gives me more en energy and control. Also, a person gains weight because of the excess food that he puts to his mouth. We are all know this. Food sources like carbohydrates will turn to sugar if your body cannot burn it, if your body cannot produce um, insulin to digest it. The result of uh, too much sugar or too much carbohydrates in your body will be weight gain. So stevia has nothing to do with weight gain, but in fact help you man maintain it. So uh, there you go. And uh, for those who are trying to lose weight, my advice is um, take it, you know, use it as a tea tonic and use it every afternoon. In my case, I eat more during afternoon. So what I do before I put anything in my mouth, uh, I'm going to drink my tea tonic, stevia tea tonic. What you can do is use dried leaf stevia, 
pour it in a hot water, leave it for two minutes, then drink it. It's really perfect. And uh, you will feel fuller um, when the food is in front of you where you are not, you know, that kind of um, hungry. Your, your appetite will be subsided. And another allegation here is uh, stevia can cause infertility. This is a myth, same with cancer. Um, many thought that stevia can cause infertility. However, there is still no study conducted to prove this allegation. And uh, same thing, tests were done uh, to these uh, animals who have taken extreme dosages of um, stevia and didn't show any signs of infertility. And um, another thing is, um, you know, stevia can cause a slight dis discomfort. Well, uh, there's actually two sides of the story here. Uh, one is uh, the if you were taking powdered form stevia, this is uh, one thing that I, I want to share, that those powdered form stevia has um, some chemicals. It has been chemically processed, and it's not stevia at all. So if you're having side effects, you are not really having side effects with stevia, but with the other substances included in the product that you are taking, which claim, which these companies claiming to be stevia, but they're actually not. And another thing, um, if this is your first time, you know, trying to withdraw from sugar, uh, it is perfectly normal that your body would adjust would adjust to uh, with the sugar intake that you're feeding your body. Um, I had this experience. I had this, uh, you know, uh, mild headache, and uh, after a few days, it was gone. So I consulted my doctor, and uh, she actually told me that my body is trying to adjust. And uh, if if you if you were first time takers, uh, don't be afraid. Just uh, keep taking, you know, I prefer for you to take the giant leaf stevia, start with natural to make sure that you're getting only the purest form of stevia. Uh, just keep on using it and your body will adjust and definitely will, you will enjoy the benefits that stevia can offer. So just to make a quick summary of uh, what has been, you know, discussed. No research proved that stevia can cause cancer and uh, infertility animal tests were done and no results show that stevia can cause any um, severe side effects like such as these things um, infertility and cancer if stevia does not contribute to weight gain but it actually helps you lose weight and uh, it is withdrawing from sugar that can cause slight discomfort like now say uh, the bloated the bloatedness feeling and uh, now the muscle pain it's very rare and only two percent of this uh, of the population experiences uh, any side effects from stevia uh, so it's very few and other another, another thing if you're taking the powdered form stevia you are probably um, reacting to the chemicals um, from the product that you are taking that's why I've been reiterating this to take dried leaves of stevia instead of the powdered form uh, i'm not sure with liquid form but because i'm doing some research about these companies doing adding stuff um, with the products they're doing uh, i cannot actually give my trust anymore so i'd rather take the real thing enjoy the benefits and uh, yeah lose weight become more healthy every day and here's my verdict stevia is an excellent sugar substitute for people with diabetes and for those who want to cut back on their sugar intake it is best to get dried leaf stevia again instead of the commercial processed stevia products in the market today so that you can avoid additives and chemicals and um, Using stevia will help you omit most illnesses due to excessive sugar intake, and part of that is diabetes, cancer, and it can actually help you prevent dull skin or wrinkled skin. If you are a lady and you're, you're skin conscious, I recommend you to reduce or omit sugar from your diet and start using stevia. Not only you're doing good for your skin, but you are doing good entirely for your health.
and this is an investment um, for you because as you grow old your organ organs fail and you know the their uh, function to uh, digest sugar will be weaker and weaker and weaker so it's much better to start early start uh, healthy get the real stuff and uh, if you want to learn more about stevia and um, the other issues with it um, and any other facts on how to use it you can actually uh, link you know click my link below I provided uh, below my video and uh, if you don't know where to get dried leaves of stevia um, you, I also provided a link below where you can get one I personally get mine with them so so far I'm really satisfied with how they they deliver the product with this with the quality stevia that I'm getting this is a place where I can really recommend you to get one so I hope you enjoy this discussion for today again stay healthy and God bless you all bye